Hello everyone, welcome back to Minecraft A Dimensional Disaster, and this time I'm just going to be kind of jumping in between scenes that I want to kind of see the different options and see what happens when I choose different things. So if you're confused with anything, go and watch the first three videos so you know what's happening. Now right here, Creeper says she's going to make us explode. And we said I dare you, and yeah. Okay, death counters at one, continue. We'll go with this one. And now this is where we're talking to her a little bit, and now we're just like, yes, no die. Okay, I'm still at one death. Uh let's go to spider. Um monster, let me go. I didn't realize you wanted to be killed. I didn't realize you wanted to fight me. Hmm. I've got a better idea. You will become my bitch for all eternity. Sound good? I'll kill you. More options. No. Uh. Save over that. I'll kill you. Ha! You're no match for me. She quickly snickers and sinks her pointy teeth into your throat. You die a few seconds later. Okay, why am I still at one death? I figured that would go up. And now... Uh, we'll say you did, I'm sorry. Uh, that's what I thought, pathetic human. Now just a sec. You will be my bitch for all eternity. Sound good? Uh, more options. No. Ha 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 ha. Got you. I had you fooled. Ah. Uh, silly human. The spider girl breaks us into hysteric laughter. Dot dot dots. Y you finished yet? Stops laughing. Ha. Huh. Okay then, mister. But in all seriousness, could you spend the night here? I get lonely here. All by myself. My other spider friends have gone on holiday. But they left me behind. And they said I was too crazy. Can you believe it? Well, actually, uh, let's save over that one. Oh, uh, actually, well, nothing. I'm perfectly cute. See? Shows you a cute smile. You're blushing. You must be imagining things. I don't tend to fall in love with 11-year-olds. I'll have you know I just turned 18. Has nobody ever told you it's rude to assume a woman's age? That's not really what I meant. See, you're more of a kid than a woman... I'm not... Yeah, she explodes. Sorry, I know you're not a kid, but that's not really how you use the woman's age thing in a conversation. Say, so you don't think I'm a kid? I don't think you're a kid. That's good. Doing it with a kid would be weird, huh? D doing it? I only just met you. So? Anyway, I met you a few hours ago when you fell into my house. You owe me one for saving your life earlier. I think you know how to pay back that debt. Uh, try to run away. Oh, no you don't. Oh, the spider girl shoots out a web, pinning you in the corner of the cave. Let me go. Help. Somebody. Nobody's coming for you. You're all mine. Hee 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 hee. Suddenly you hear panic steps echoing through the cave. The steps are followed by a desperate voice. Basting! Where are you? Oh, is it Koopa? The voice echoes down the cave. Who the hell is that? A friend of yours, no doubt. Don't worry, I'll keep you safe from them, wherever they are. Let me the fuck out of here, crazy bitch. You belong to me now. There's no escape. The girl presses her body against yours, squeezing you, squeezing her throat tightly with her left hand. I can't. That's the whole point. Now be a good the. Oh. <laughs> Leave him alone. She shoves the spider against the wall. Quick, get free so we can get out of here. You untangle yourself from the webs and begin to run out of the cave. Oh wow. I didn't know there was this much. Okay. Uh, Koopa falls just behind you. Now, please come back. 
Please. The spider's wailing voice bounces off the walls of the cave. Pant, pant. Thank you, Koopa. That was too close. If I hadn't gotten there in time... I'm just really glad that you're okay. Yeah, me too. I, I didn't even find a bed. After all that too. Well, you can't uh, still sleep with me if you if you want to. Isn't it a bit? I guess we could. Both options in development. Oh, so if I just do this. Yeah. Okay. Now wait. Why am I at zero deaths now? All right. Well, that. Okay. Uh, is there any options? Oh yeah, the one with the firing range. Or is it? I am not listening to that again. Wait, what? Uh, um, the background didn't change. Okay, yeah, the background just didn't change. Alright, is there anything else I could say? Uh, oh yeah, right here. I can't breathe. Sorry. Let's go. Let, let's get out of this hole. You first climb out of the hole. The girl then also climbs out. Thank you very much. After helping the girl out of the hole, you ask for her name, or why did she want to play up before? I'm pretty sure we asked her what what's her name. I mean, for her name, yeah. So we should ask this. I thought you wanted to kill me. I don't want someone choosing how I leave this world. I want to choose. I want to choose to die myself. What a sad way to think about dying. But don't worry about it. I won't try anything like that ever again. So what's your name? You haven't told me yet. Uh, Bastings. Okay. My name is Bastings. Bastings. I like that name. Bastings, we should get going. It's getting dark. What is it? Scared of the dark? No. But you are. Damn. She got me there. You follow her. Careful not to trip on the dense forest floor. Say, where are we going, Koopa? To my house, of course. Where exactly is your house? What is it? Not scared of the dark, are we? Very funny. Some time passes. Oh, we're here. You turn around the corner and see a small wooden house. Nice house. Yeah. I think so, too. Let's get inside. I'm getting cold. You walk into the house. Inside's a little warm and cozy, however. You immediately notice a huge problem. Um... Where's the other bed? What other bed? You don't have another bed? You can sleep with me. So this is what she wants. Another story split is coming. Yeah, I've already read this. Uh, let's look for another bed. And then we'll go up to the top. Uh, oh, there should be a spare one in my basement. Be careful, though. The floor is very broken up. So it would be hard to fall into one of those holes. Okay, I'm not reading all that again. I should have this one right here. Yeah, actually, I think we'll sleep with you tonight. Really? Never mind. I'll go to the spare bed. Let's save over that one. Not dead. You can sense her excitement from the bottom of the stairs. You return to Cooper's bedroom. I've never done this before, so... I've never did, done this before, so um, I, I haven't done it before either. Okay. So now what happens if I say never mind? Well, okay then. Be careful though. You proceed carefully. Okay. So that's about all the time I have to kind of explore these different options. Uh. Well, well, we'll do a couple more options if there's any left in the next episode.